Chair uh, began um, starting up in 2013 after successful proposal. Uh, at that point in time, we had a number of researchers working in this group for the Unity, unit of energy systems. And at that point in time, the idea was to actually coordinate and align all this research into, into one focus area where everybody had a home and felt they belonged. Um, so at that point in time, we felt that there were three pillars of research which were important. Fine core processing being one of those. The second leg is actually carbon conversion optimization. And in that area, we actually look at um, incremental change in efficiencies using pyrolysis reactors, combustion reactors, or gasifiers. And the final leg is a waste utilization. So here we talk about CO2 sequestration, ash utilization, as well as um, water acid mine drainage eradication. So you'll see the, the efforts and the focus of the research chair is actually along the coal value chain and optimization across that chain, leading to commercialization. So this chair started up in 2013. We've had two five-year cycles being effectively assessed by the NRF. Um, the chairs run seamlessly, and this is not just to my efforts, due to my efforts, but due to great teamwork. The value is uh, 4.15 million rands per, per year annum for five years. So that's almost 21 million rands which we've been afforded uh, to buy the NRF, and we're very grateful for that funding. We've worked for many years on the briquetting of fine coal because, you know, there are millions of tons of fine coal in slimes, dams, and in slurry ponds. And you can't really use that coal because it's wet and sticky. Eskimo have the same problem um, whenever they use wet coal. So briquetting is a technology where you size upgrade the coal to larger sizes, and then it can be used in technologies uh, that, that utilize large particles or lumps in the form of briquettes. And um, so we developed a technology together with another Saki chair here at the university within our group, um, the Biofuels Group, led by Professor Sanet Marx, where they look at our, um, hydro liquefaction of biomass materials. And by producing a biochar, uh, we integrate that together with fine coal, together with a catalyst, alkaline metal catalyst, and we produce what we call green coal. So, it affords you to uh, do in situ encapsulation of sulfur and the reactivity is at least an order of magnitude higher than conventional coal, leading to a much greener product, more efficient product, and we have six international patents uh, in coal producing countries all over the world. Another one I want to um, mention is the emissions control chair which is funded by the EPI chair, as we call it, which is funded by ESKIM. Um, we're looking at coal stove um, optimization. Of course, that's a big problem in our country, in the communities, people can't afford electricity, and therefore they burn coal, and it uh, leads to a lot of illnesses because the, um, the houses in which, the dwellings in which these people live, in these lower income households, don't have good ventilation um, etc. So we're looking at designing new stoves um, which actually uh, are burn much cleaner leading to lower emissions of things like carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, um, part particulate matter um, as well as volatile organic compounds. So um, we're rolling out this uh, technology on a trial, a field test in the next coming months, and this is sponsored by, by SASL in collaboration with the university. I'm humbled by the fact that um, we received this gracious grant from the NRF, but it, it doesn't happen by itself. It's through dedication, being passionate, and through teamwork.